Good day, my scholars. You are welcome to my school channel, and my name is Abiola. In this channel, we are solving the Jam CBT past question for the subject physics, the year 2016. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us because we will be right back. Welcome back to my school channel and in this video clip we are tackling question 36 to 48. So join me as we solve question 36. Which of the following statements about wave motion is correct? Okay, let's look at statement A. Electromagnetic waves are transverse. Of course, this is very, very correct. Uh, we should know that electromagnetic waves, they do not require a material medium for their propagation. Okay, so statement A is correct. Let's examine statement B. Transverse waves do not require a medium for propagation. This is incorrect. Some transverse waves require material medium for their propagation. Example, your water wave. Okay. Um, we have um, statement C. Longitudinal waves vibrate perpendicular to the direction of travel. This is incorrect. This is a concept that is very uh, uh, that you can attribute to transverse wave. This is a concept that is aligned with transverse wave. So this is not for longitudinal. We have a um, statement D. All mechanical waves are longitudinal. This is also incorrect. For instance, water wave is a mechanical wave and it is transverse in nature. So statement D is incorrect. So the only correct statement about wave motion is that electromagnetic waves are transverse. Option A is super correct. Question 37. A satellite revolving around the Earth is kept on its orbit by what? Okay, if you are very familiar with centripetal forces, you should know that that is the correct answer because that's one of the life application or daily um, expression of the concept of centripetal force. You know, that force that keeps an object to move in a circular path. So the correct option here is option A, centripetal force sees only. Um, centrifuga is opposite of um, centripetal force, but that is equal, okay, just like one of the Newton's laws of motion. So, we are going back to the question giving us a satellite revolving around the Earth is kept on its orbit by what? By centripetal forces only. Option A is very correct. Question 38. A manometer is an instrument used for measuring what? It is used for measuring pressures in liquids and gases. Okay, so uh, relative humidity, you use hydrometer. For humidity, you use hygrometer. For atmospheric pressure, we use barometer. So the correct option here is option B for pressure in liquids and gases. Question 39. A body which weighs 15 Newton air displaces 3.7 kg of water when partially immersed in water calculate the uptrust on the body okay so um at first we are we can see that um, 3.7 kg of water was displaced okay so we have to convert this to newton this weight must be in newton that will be 3.7 times 10 that gives you 37 newton so remember this that uptrust is actually the weight of liquid displaced. So the weight of liquid displaced is 37. So your answer is 37 Newton. The 15 Newton we have here would have been used or utilized if we are asked to look for relative density or other parameters like that. So we are asked to look for uptrust. Uptrust is the amount of liquid displaced, which is 3.7 in kg, but in Newton, 3. 37 newton that is 3.7 times 10 that gives you 37 newton so the correct option here is option b 37.0 newton don't forget that the link in the description below takes you to the my school website where you can download the my school mobile app for your android devices or the my school software for your laptops and desktop for just a token of 1000 naira so join me as we solve question 40. The impulse of a force is deduced from Newton's second law as what? As what is found in option B, you know, the product of force times time, okay? It's actually the impulse of the force. So, and it is going to be equals to the change in momentum. 
So you can see that the correct option here is option B, F equals M into bracket V minus U over T when you cross multiply, then you have your impulse. Option B is very correct. Please don't forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get alert as soon as we upload the next video clips for you. Question 41. Boiling occurs when the vapor pressure of a liquid is what? Okay, from the definition of boiling point is actually that temperature where the saturated vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure. So the correct option here is option D. Boiling occurs when the vapor pressure of a liquid is equal to the atmospheric pressure. Option D is very correct. Number 48. So if the magnification of a virtual image formed by an object 10 cm from a convex lens is 3, okay, then the focal length of the lens is what? It is very important that we take note of certain terms that are very salient for us in solving this question. Like for instance, convex lens, you should know that the value for the image convex lens is virtual, like it's stated here, and it's going to be negative. So at first, let's get um, V, okay, the image. We have mg equals image, either image distance or image um, size or image height of our object, isn't it? So we have magnification is given us, from the question, let's, let's confirm that. It's given us 3, okay, this is for the image over the object, distance is given us 10. When we multiply, we would have the high equals 3 times 10, that is 30. And you know, for a virtual image producing a convex lens, the value will be negative. So we are having this image of V. You can represent it with V, V or high, whatever thing you want to use. Let's use V, okay? I'm using high to just represent image when applying this formula. So we have um, V, okay, equals minus 30. All right, so let's go and solve for focal length. Remember, focal length equals 1 over u plus 1 over v, okay? That implies that 1 over u, the u is 10, okay? Minus, because of this minus here, 1 over 30. The LCM, this is equal to 1 over f. The LCM here is 30. 10 in 30, 3 times 1, we have... 3 minus 13, 31 times 1, that is 1. So we have 3 minus 1, we have 2. So let me do a drive up. So we have 3 minus 1, I have 2 over 30 equals 1 over f. When we cross multiply, you can say 2 year 1, 2 year 15. Okay, so when we cross multiply, we have 15 times 1 equals. 1 times f, that means 15 equals f. So the focal length is 15 centimeters. So join me, let's go back to the screen and select the correct option. So we can see that the focal length of the lens is 15 centimeters, option D. Question 43. In the diagram above, which of the following velocity time graph shows uniform acceleration of a body from rest? Okay, that tells you zero from rest, okay? Remember that uniform acceleration just tells you that, okay, as velocity is increasing at certain intervals, so also there's also an increase in time at certain interval, no matter the um, amount or quantity of increase that is reflected in time interval. So let's look at um, which of these diagrams actually um, shows um, uniform acceleration. When you look through all of them, you can see this, this straight line that shows you a uniform acceleration change in velocity as we have it occurring in time so that is diagram b and where can we find diagram b diagram b is found in option c so option c is the correct option question 44 in the diagram above the neutral point is what okay at first i should just share some background knowledge about this this tells you about two parallel current carrying conductors okay arranged side by side that is firstly, then secondly, you can see um, that um, each of these, they are both in um, each other's magnetic field, okay? There's magnetic field here, and both of them uh, lie 
there, okay, um, in each other's magnetic field. Then another thing we can also notice from here is that the direction of the current flow tells you that the force that we are seeing here is attractive. So we can just deduce that the neutral point here is point X. So we can find point X in option B. Option B is correct. Please, you just have to use the link in the description below because it's going to take you to the My School website where you can ask your questions right now and within moment solution providers are going to attend to you. So why not ask your questions right now? So we are tackling question 45. From the diagram above, the measuring accuracy of the micrometer screw gauge is what? Okay. Um, certain things we should know about this that this instrument can be used to uh, measure smaller um, length or measurements like um, diameter of a wire, um, thickness of a paper, diameter of a pendulum bulb, and what have you. So um, it has this accuracy of 0.001 centimeter. If you want to measure a millimeter, that will be 0.01 millimeter. So we have the measurement here in millimeter. So let's trace this up. This is already zero. Okay, this is one. This is two. This is three. This is four okay this is the main scale this is the vernier scale all right so we already have four here that'll be four points okay so now let's trace this up we can see that this is somewhat around um 15 16. okay i know we don't have that clarity but we can just take it as 16. so what we have is four on the main scale plus 0 0.16 on the vernier scale that gives you 4.16 so 4.16 millimeters if it's to be brought to centimeter that would be 0 0.416 centimeter but since we are working in millimeter metrics it's going to be 4.16 millimeters so the correct option here is option b going through our video clips perhaps you have one or two explanations suggestions or solutions you would like to share please would like to know all you have to do is use the comment section below indicate the question number and the solutions or explanations you like to share Question 46. In the diagram above, the direction of the force between N and S in the magnetic field is what? So we have N, we have S, okay? So this tells us about the magnetic line of force. That is the imaginary line that tells you, okay, when you position a north pole, a free north pole there, what direction does it tend to move, okay? So we can see that it tends to move from the north. You can see the arrow indication to the south so going by going by the question um, given us we have in the diagram above the direction of the force between n and s in the magnetic field is from n to s n to s option c is the correct option right here we have 47 which of the following statements is not true about atoms okay let's look at statement a atoms of different elements have different atomic weights of course the atomic weight of hydrogen is different from that of oxygen oxygen differs from nitrogen okay so this statement is correct it's true about atoms let's look at statement b the mass of an atom is concentrated in the nucleus that is very correct the atomic mass of an atom is neutron number plus proton number and they are both located in the nucleus of the atom Statement B is also true or correct. Let's look at statement C. An atom is made up of a nucleus and number of electrons. This is also super correct. An atom has a nucleus which houses the neutron and the proton. The neutron has no charge, okay? The proton has positive charge. The electron negatively charged and they are located outside the nucleus. So we can say comfortably that an atom is made up of a nucleus and a number of electrons orbiting around this nucleus. So Statement C is also true or correct. We have statement D. Atoms of all elements are identical. This is very incorrect. They are not identical. So, which of these following statements is not true about atoms? Statement D, that all atoms of all elements are identical. Statement D is incorrect. So, the correct option for this question given us is option D. Question 48. Um, the frequency of beats produced when two turning forks of frequencies 258 hz and 270 hz are sounded close to each other. We are asked to find beat frequency and beat frequency is just difference between these frequencies. 
okay that's just very simple that is 270 minus 258 and that should give you 12. the unit is in hours for frequency so the correct option here is option d 12 hours we've come to the end of this segment for the subject physics the year 2016 but you know there are more video clips to come all you just have to do is to hit the like button always click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notifications so you can get alerts as soon as we upload the next video clip all for you